Wait a minute. Hello, beautiful maid. Stop trying to sweet talk me, boy. And tell me what you want. I'm busy. How's the field work coming? Look at these huge fields we have to work. And you know how we're doing. Are you looking for farm work? No. Actually, I want to become a mercenary. Then you're in the wrong place. You can usually find the mercenaries on the landowner's farm. Nothing there. So where are we headed then? Are you the foreman here? I'll give you one upside the head, you rascal. If you want to go ambling across my land, you'll pay me five gold coins, or you're in for a good thrashing. Your land? Are you the farmer here? You can bet on that. Why else would I make you pay me a toll? I don't mind if you go ask the others about me. <laughs> Forget it. You won't get anything from me. Then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to tan your hide. Come on and try it then. Well, in that case... <laughs>
you try that again. Sir, still got that big mouth? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay? Hey, you! How's it going? You're not one of us, huh? I'd get out of here if I were you. Why? This wasn't a paradise before, but at least we were left in peace as long as we did our work for Sekob. But lately it's become unbearable. Bandits are everywhere, field raiders destroy the entire harvest, and the landowner is getting to be pretty brutal. Are you afraid of the landowner then? You bet. If the landowner doesn't like people's faces, he sends his mercenaries after him, and that's the last you see of them. So we prefer to keep our mouths closed. Shouldn't the mercenaries take care of the field raiders? I don't know what they're being paid for, but certainly not to help us common people. The field raider problem is left to the small farmers who rent the fields from him. How do you protect yourselves against the bandits? We don't. We run away. What else? Keep your chin up. That's not so easy if you're working for Sekob, the slave driver. How are things? Ah, a new face here on the farm. Has the old skin flint finally granted me an apprentice? I'm not an apprentice. Oh, I see. I'm not as young as I used to be, you know, and uh, I've been waiting for a replacement for years. You aren't here because the neighbors are annoyed, are you? What's the work you do here? Oh, I guard the sheep, and uh, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. The animals are very loyal and very smart, you see. If you treat them well, they'll follow you for a lifetime. What's the trouble with your neighbors? The grass on this side of the big field is always so stunted and dry, so I mostly go to the big pastures of the other farmers. Oh, the landowner doesn't mind, but Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, always makes a big deal out of it when I take the animals up there. He says Sekob should pay if I take his animals on to Bengar's pasture, but Sekob won't spend a measly coin for that, so I can't go up onto the plateau anymore. Maybe I should talk to Bengar. You do that for me? What will you tell him? I mean, I don't want any trouble, you hear? We'll see about that. Where can I find the high pastures in Bengar's farm? Follow this path and cross the big crossroad. If you stick to the right, you'll see a big outcropping of rock. Behind that, to the right, are the high pastures and the pass. Everything else all right? Oh, I can't complain. Thanks for asking. Have you seen any bandits passing through here? I certainly have. They passed along the edge of the field near Sekob's farm and entered the forest to the north. They were carrying loads of weapons. They looked like they were all set to win the war against the orcs. Well, I'm just glad they stayed away from our farm. Well, kiddo? That's no way for a farmhand to talk to me. Just how often do I have to remind you? Are you in charge here? Uh, no, I'm only Sekup's son. But once my old man is no longer with us, then all the land you can see here will belong to me. Amazing. Is that how you always treat your field workers? Of course, they need that. Whoever doesn't toe the line here gets thrashed. That's the way it goes. There's this guy who demands a toll from every passerby, claiming he's the farmer. Uh, yes, I know. That's Bronco. He does whatever he wants. 
Not that I haven't pounded it into him a thousand times that he should finally get back to work. But... He just doesn't do it. My father's quite annoyed with me that I still haven't managed to persuade him to go back to work. Maybe I can help you. Do you mean that? Okay, listen, if you can get Bronco to go back to work, I'll pay you, shall we say, ten gold pieces? What do you say? All right, I'll see what I can do. But hurry up about it. So what do you do when you're not busy playing ruler of the farm? Stand guard. The filthy militiamen from the city are coming onto our land more and more often and stealing everything they can get their hands on. Only last week the bastards were here, and they took some of our sheep. If I could get my hands on one of them, I'd make short work of him. But of course. I need to talk to your father. He hasn't got time, but I'm his deputy. What can I help you with? By introducing me to your father. You're a real tough guy and a good fighter, huh? The best. I think maybe I better get him then. Never mind, boy. I'll find him, I'm sure. If you say so. Why don't the mercenaries help you against the militia? Before they even turn up, I've already driven them off. So, still got that big mouth? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay? Hey, you! Bronco's back at work. Really? That's terrific. Yeah, and now I want my cash. Hmm, well, business is business, right? Hey! Everything all right with you? Well, it's so-so. My back hurts from all this hard labor. What are you doing here? I don't get visitors here all that often. Usually it's either some cutthroats from the mountains or those horrible malicious soldiers from the city. They've been raiding our farm rather frequently lately, but you don't look like you're one of them, or are you? What are you doing on my land? There's nothing here to steal clear off. Isn't there a piece of land in this blasted country that doesn't belong to anyone? Go to work. Then maybe someday you can call a piece of land your own. But until then, kindly loaf around somewhere else. This land belongs to the big farmer. You're only the tenant here. Onar wants you to pay your rent at last. You're several weeks behind. What? And he sent a villain like you? Not even you believe that. Get out of here before I forget myself. I guess I'll have to tell Onar about this then. I don't care. You can tell Onar I don't have anything. That's the sad truth. Hey, you! Fork over the dough or I'll bash in your teeth. You're not going after my purse, you criminal, not you! Ah! Thank you. 
All right, all right, you win. What do you want? Where do you have the money? Don't hit me again, please. I'll do whatever you say. We'll pay your rent then. But, sir, I don't have anything. I'm just a poor wretch and half starved. My last harvest dried up completely. I want to pay my rent, but I just don't have anything. Have pity. All right, I'll talk to Onar. Thank you, sir. Thank you a thousand times. About your rent. You'll talk to Onar, right? I changed my mind. Cut out that piffle. It rains here all the time and your larders are full. Pay your rent now or I'll kill you. No, please, here, take the gold. I'll even add a bonus if you let me live. See, that wasn't so hard. I'm ruined! How are things? So-so. Those mercenaries aren't much help, really. I had expected them to have a little more guts, at least. But they're just a bunch of braggarts and loudmouths, if you ask me. So what about those things I buried? Have you found them yet? No, not all of them. Then hurry up, will you? It can't be all that difficult. What was your business with the mercenaries? I already told you I'm looking for this fellow in red armor. But the idiots here have no idea what I'm talking about. Where exactly did you bury your stuff again? Let's see. There's an island in the small lake with the two waterfalls. One of my caches should be there. There are two more spots where I buried something further up, in the high pastures. One spot is behind the farm up there and the other one's next to the entrance to the pass by the waterfalls. There are stairs leading down from the fields of the farmer up there to those of the landowner. There's another cache in the hollow where the stairs end. Never gonna change that. Sooner or later. Why haven't I? Have uh, I'm staying out. Of it.
Hey, you! Everything all right? Ah, an unfamiliar wanderer. I am very busy, so what do you want? What are you doing here? Well, the things a woodcutter and hunter usually do. What interesting things are there to see here? Interesting is well put. If you go deeper into the woods here, you'll run into some very evil fellows. They're about 10 feet tall, hairy, and in a really bad mood. So don't go there if you're not strong enough for them. Can you teach me something about hunting? Sure, but first get me something decent to eat. I'm dying of hunger out here. I want a bottle of milk, a loaf of bread, and a fat ham. Then I'll teach you what you want. Here's the food you wanted. Fantastic. And now? Teach me how to hunt. What do you want to learn? The mandibles of a mine crawler or field raider have to be removed with a very strong metal lever. They are lodged very deeply in the animal's skull. Teach me how to hunt. What do you want to learn? What are you doing here? Guarding sheep. <sighs> and if possible, staying out of trouble. Doesn't always work, does it? Nah, especially not with the mercenaries. I'm really glad to be out here in the pasture, although it can be dangerous too. What's so dangerous in the pasture? There's a small pack of wolves that roams the area. Lately, the damn beasts have come by and eaten one of my sheep almost every day. 
A few days ago, I had almost twice as many sheep. I don't want to think what Onar will do to me when he finds out. What if I kill those wolves? You? By yourself? <laughs> I don't believe it. I'd sooner trust my bellwether to do that. Forget it. It was just a suggestion. I'll go over to the boys and see what they say about it. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, Em. You're the greatest and you can take on a hundred wolves at once. No problem. Mostly, they lurk between the trees near the pasture. I think there were only four. Why didn't you tell the mercenaries about the wolves? I thought they worked for you. Yeah, I know. I should have done that. But I didn't, damn it. And now, with so many sheep gone, I'm afraid to tell anyone about it at all. But you just told me. I'm already regretting that, too. Hey, you! I've done in the wolves. You did it! Thank Innos. But now, I still don't know how to tell Onar that all those sheep are gone. It's all that damn Bulko's fault. What did you say about Bulko? He's one of the mercenaries. It was actually his job to guard the pasture. But instead, he and his pal Silvio hang around Thecla in the kitchen all day. It's that bastard's fault if I don't get paid for weeks because of the lost sheep. I wish I could at least punch him in the mouth for it, but nobody stands a chance against him. The guy's a killer. How are you? And how are your sheep? I'm fine, and so are the sheep. That is, the ones that are still here are doing all right. Put away that weapon! This is going to 
Church. How's my reputation among the mercenaries? Let's see. Wolf says he has nothing against you joining. Cypher says that for him it was crystal clear that you'd get to join. Something seems to have made him really happy. You seem to have convinced Rod that you're strong enough. Sentenza will vote for you. He says you were a very reasonable man. Raul's against you. I think he can't stand you. I don't need to say anything about Silvio and Bolko. Those two morons are against everyone. Buster says you're okay, and Dar says you're a blabbermouth. But his vote doesn't count for very much here. The rest of the mercenaries haven't said anything. Most of them are just waiting to see if you passed. You're far from done, kid. If you want us to accept you, you'll have to do something for it. I can't believe that. I collected the rent from Sekob. And? Did he pay willingly? I had to convince him first. Well done, you passed your test. That'll convince a lot of the mercenaries that you have yeah, what it takes. He really said that. That's he ran like Beliar himself was after him. I might have gone about it differently. He he might have have a Don't even think about touching anything here. Otherwise, you'll get a couple upside the head. Got it? What's your job? Onar wants me to spend all day keeping an eye on his stuff. He's worried that something will go missing, and I would too in his place. Most of the mercenaries he's hired are former convicts from the penal colony. They'll walk off with everything that isn't nailed down if no one watches out. There's a whole bunch of junk here. That's right, and most of it is extremely valuable. Onar collects valuable objects. A simple man like me can hardly afford such luxury. I stick to other things. And that would be? I collect old coins. Has anyone tried to steal anything yet? A few, and I caught them all. I've got an old coin here. Hmm, show me. Oh yeah? That won't bring much on the open market. I'll pay you a gold piece for it. Exactly as much as it used to be worth. Not quite enough. What about two? Nothing doing. I'm not a loony. Beat it. I've got an old... You know what I'm prepared to pay for it, you dog. One gold piece. No more. It's a deal. Good. If you have any more of those, you'll know where to find me. Interested in some more old coins? Sure. Do you still have any? A few. Thanks. Here's your money. Bring me all you can find.
I'll never get this open without the right key. Oh, my God. 